Hello everyone, and today we're going to talk about a possible medieval mod, medieval era mod for Rome Total War Remastered. And so this is a Chivalry Total War. This is probably the mod I've shown the most on the channel <laughs> compared to other mods, just because it's one of my favorite mods of all time. It's one of my old personal favorites. And uh, that's because it is a medieval era mod for the original Rome Total War. And uh, it retains that dark kind of gritty atmosphere from the original medieval, medieval one, which I vastly prefer compared to the medieval two atmosphere, which I um, don't like as much as the medieval one atmosphere. So uh, we're going to talk about how this mod could possibly be remastered and what could be improved uh, in a remastered version of this mod, with especially with the increased limits of uh, the modding limits of uh, Rome Remastered, which of course will increase the faction limit to at least 31 and the regions and settlements to an as of yet undisclosed number. So in Chivalry 1, uh, for Rome Total War, you have uh, two campaigns. The main campaign, Rise of the Knighthood, which starts in uh, 1072 AD. Uh, so just after the Battle of Manzikert and, of course, um, the Norman Conquest of England. So um, in this mod, you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20 factions, plus the rebels, so 21 factions total and uh, of course this is one of the things that will be uh, improved a lot in Rome Remastered because uh, the faction limit ha will be it's not increased right now but it will be increased to um, 31 which is Medieval 2's faction limit and then perhaps they can push the engine further but we're not sure yet so in Chivalry 1 you've got France, you've got uh, England, you've got uh, the Fra the Holy Roman Empire, the Eastern Franks, uh, you've got the Danes, you've got the Poles, the, the Poles, the Polish, you've got the Hungarians, Castile, Aragon, uh, the Kingdom of Sicily, the Norman Kingdom of Sicily, the Moors. Uh, the Fatimid Egyptians, uh, the Grand Seljuk Empire, uh, the Byzantines, uh, Kiev, uh, the Seljuks of Rome, uh, the Armenians, uh, the Kipchaks, the Bohemians, the uh, Imazig and the Berber Emirate, and uh, Pisa. So I know it says the Italians, and it's supposed to be Pisa, plus the Duchy of Spoleto in like an amalgam faction. So uh, yeah, let's talk about uh, the mod. Let's, let's get into it and I'll showcase um, some of the mod's aspects and uh, what can be improved uh, in a future version. But one more thing I want to show is the additional campaign. So there's also the Crusader Epic campaign, which starts in 1099. AD, right after the formation of the Crusader States. And of course, uh, Rome Total War doesn't have a Crusades mechanic because it's Rome Total War, right? Uh, so chivalry had to kind of invent its own Crusade mechanic. And uh, so to represent the Crusader States here, uh, you have a couple of territories, uh, County of Edessa and I believe Tripoli uh, or Jerusalem as um, territories of France. And then you've got um, none for England, none for the Franks or the Holy Romans. And you've got Antioch under the control of the Siculo Normans, right? And then um, the Seljuks have a little less territory in this one. But uh, in any case, uh, let's Let's get into a campaign and I'm going to show off the campaign map and talk about some of the aspects of the mod that I believe can be improved uh, heavily here. So let's start one as um, 
the Siculo Normans here, Norman Sicily. And uh, yeah, a medieval era mod is definitely something I want to see, especially a medieval era mod that's kind of inspired by Medieval 1, which is, of course, one of my favorite Total War games of all time. So here you've got the Siculo Norman Kingdom. And then um, you've got the uh, Principality of Antioch under Norman control, Sicilian control. And of course, there are uh, unique buildings here in um, chivalry. So a lot of these buildings, a lot of these cards are taken from uh, Medieval 1, uh, including the portraits, which I really like the Medieval 1 portraits so much better. They're more gritty, more atmospheric than the Medieval 2 portraits. Um, but in any case, the, mo the thing I want to show here is uh, the Crusader State Proclamation building. So, uh, like I said, because uh, Rome 1 does not have a uh, Crusades mechanic built in, a uh, chivalry kind of built one in for you. So, in that uh, original uh, main campaign, the Imperial campaign, uh, there are no Crusader states at the start. The campaign starts in 1072, right? So, if you play as a Catholic faction like Aragon, Castile, Pisa, Sicily, Holy Romans, England, it doesn't matter. If you take a city in the Levant, you have the option to construct a Crusader State Proclamation building. And this gives you religious conversion to Christianity, it gives you public order bonus, tax income bonus, a heavy public order bonus due to law, population growth bonus, and um, yeah, this building is only available in the Holy Land region for classical crusader factions, Holy Roman Empire, France, England, and Norman Sicily. Oh, so I guess if you're Castile or Aragon, you cannot um, build one of these in the Levant. And um, yeah, this one, uh, the Crusader State Proclamation, does give you uh, a lot of bonuses here. And of course... Um, let me show off the building tree here. Where is it? Okay. What was I looking for? Ah, so when you construct a crusader church, which you can construct after pilgrimage routes, you can train religious fanatics, which are not very good, but they are cheap. Uh, and then uh, there, there's also the feudal system, so when you uh, build land ownership and then land gift feudum and then feudal province estates, if you have your crusader state founded, you'll be able to recruit Latin men-at-arms, uh, Maronite troops, uh, Armenian mercenary cavalry, uh, very effective cavalry, and then a vassal foot knights, really heavy infantry. Very good, very expensive, as Mr. Dink from Doug would say. Uh, so you also get units from Crusader State um, buildings. So Proclamation is the first stage of the Crusader State buildings. And then once you uh, construct Crusader State estates, then you get access to Crusader State crossbowmen and Crusader State infantrymen that don't seem to have a correct unit card for the Siculo Normans, unfortunately, but they are effective infantry, and the crossbowmen are very effective uh, missile infantry. Um, and then, of course, advanced Crusader State Estates gives you the same, um, uh, the same infantry, but with more experience. And, of course, uh, so that's a pretty good assortment of units. Uh, for uh, your crusader state there in uh, the Near East, in the Levant. And I believe, yes, you can construct siege workshops. Uh, Royal Stables doesn't give you anything. And then Safe Harbor does not either. 
Yeah, those do not. But you also get units from, yeah, this is what I was looking for, the Italian Merchants Colony, which is a building that's available also to um, Armenia, the Armenians. And uh, when you construct an Italian Merchants Colony, you get access to uh, Lombard Knights, Genoese Sailors, pretty good uh, archer unit that's also not bad in melee, Italian Men at Arms, very good spearmen, Good Militia Spearman, and then Genoese Crossbowman, another very effective uh, crossbow unit. And so that's a pretty good assortment of um, troops you have available to you. Of course, from the start, you don't have any. You have to build up your uh, Crusader state uh, from the beginning. But in any case, uh, yeah, so... That's how the Crusade mechanic works in uh, Chivalry Total War, Medieval Era mod for Rome Total War. Now let's toggle the Fog of War, and I want to showcase a couple other things about the map here. So uh, the map in Chivalry is pretty good. It's um, it's fairly, it's uh, it's got a good size to it. I really like the unique. Um, moat and bailey type buildings here. So there are donjons, there are moat and baileys for the really small uh, settlements. Right. Uh, so these are not only unique uh, custom models for the campaign map, but they also translate to the battle map. So I'll showcase uh, some of that in a minute as well. Or actually, I'll, I'll throw in some footage. Uh, later because I have a lot of footage from this mod. Um, but in any case, let's talk about some things that can be improved in the remaster. Uh, so you'll see one of the things here is that Chivalry kind of cuts off in the middle of the Caspian, which is the same as um, Vanilla Rome Total War. And uh, also the original medieval cut off, I think, around Lake Urmia, if I'm not mistaken. So it cut off a little bit more. It didn't have the Caspian at all, if I'm not mistaken. And, um, you know, one of the things that is not a big focus in um, chivalry is the the steps. The steps are, are not very well done in chivalry. They're kind of, um, they're kind of overlooked. They're overlooked here. So you've got the Kipchaks, but they're not really, and the Cumans, they're not really that playable. Um, I've seen reports that playing as them is not uh, particularly good because, you know, the mod just wasn't balanced with them in mind. They're just kind of there to fill up the steps. And, you know, the steps deserve a better treatment than that. And the remaster, by having an increased faction limit, and having an increased units limit and regions limit and um, all of that, that's going to make the steps more interesting. So you'll be able to have uh, not just this Russian amalgam faction um, under the Kievan Rus banner, but you can have Novgorod, um, Kiev, maybe Muscovy, or Vladimir Suzdal as a separate principalities, and then the Cumans can have a lot more development. Uh, and you know, another faction that's really needed here, you'll see the Caucasus are not very interesting at all in uh, chivalry. So definitely Kingdom of Georgia would be nice to see in this mod. That's really probably the faction that's missing the most in chivalry, I'd say, is Kingdom of Georgia. Um, and of course, you've got the Grand Seljuk Empire. And again, it's not very well done. It's kind of a sort of a clone of the Sel uh, Seljuks of Rum faction that's in the middle of Asia Minor there. Um, and the Fatimids are just okay in terms of their representation. Uh, but you know, one thing that would be good is, of course, I'm talking about the addition of a few factions in uh, the Russian steppe here, but uh, Kingdom of Georgia as well. But, you know, extending the map a little bit beyond the Caspian so that you could have 
uh, some more interesting factions and some more parts of the Grand Seljuk Empire to make it uh, kind of big bad. And then making the Abbasid Caliphate kind of its own faction at Baghdad here. That would make the mod a little more interesting in the Middle East, uh, I feel. But let's also talk about uh, Italy. So in Italy, uh, you'll notice there are a couple of issues here. So um, there is no Papal States in chivalry. So, you know, the faction cap of 21 factions plus the rebels um, is not really conducive to having a separate Papal States faction. Um, now, with the increased faction cap, it would be really nice to see the Papal States represented here. And with the increased regions cap, you could have, you know, at least another city under Papal State control like a Bologna, perhaps, uh, or something like that. But in any case, yeah, having the Papal States, I understand why they made the Papal States under the control of the Holy Roman Empire here, just for gameplay purposes. It makes a lot of sense. But it would be really good to have them as their own faction, and maybe as kind of a super faction that gives missions to uh, the classical uh, crusader Catholic factions, or maybe for all the Catholic factions, who knows? That would be a pretty cool mechanic that I think might be doable in a remastered version of this mod. Um, but another thing I want to talk about here in Italy is that, of course, in um, you have this sort of amalgam faction here. And, you know, it's not as much of an amalgam faction, uh, Pisa, that is, in the Imperial campaign because you don't have Genoa in the Imperial campaign, but you know having a Republic of Pisa separate faction that doesn't include Spoleto and Genoa, I think that would be a better way to represent uh, Italy here and then having Venice as it as a separate faction that would be uh, very helpful and Genoa as well perhaps. Um, but other than that, uh, I think Western Europe is pretty good. Scotland, definitely a faction that's necessary for a remastered version. Norway would be good as well. Wait a minute. Let's get a count going here. So let's, let's say Norway, that's one. Um, Scotland, that's two. Um, Genoa, that's three. Venice. That's four. Papal states, five new factions. Uh, Georgia, six new factions. Uh, Novgorod, seven new factions. Uh, Abbasids, eight new factions. Yeah, that's totally doable. That's doable here. And then perhaps another step faction. That'll be nine new factions. And then there's even room for one more. So you could have, um, I don't know, Kingdom of Burgundy or Serbia. Serbia would be a nice faction to add, uh, definitely. So yeah, then that would be 10 new factions. I think that would be really cool. And a better representation of the Cumans or perhaps the Pechenegs as kind of a horde faction, right? Um, so I think that would really help the, the mod out, adding a bunch of new regions, uh, especially in the... Because, you know, in Central Europe here, one of the best parts of chivalry is that, of course, it includes the Kingdom of Bohemia, which is a very fun faction to play. It's really tough. Like, you have very little room for expansion here. Uh, you basically have to make a beeline for these German cities. Mecklenburg, right? Um... And you don't really have much room for expansion. You have to go to war with someone, probably Poland or Hungary or the Holy Romans at the start. And then, you know, having Serbia, having Venice, that's going to make this map a lot more dynamic. It's going to be really cool. And then in the remaster with the improved, um, with the improved naval invasions, you're going to have real nice wars between the Byzantines and the, the Sicilians. Of course, they added in a um, 
land bridge between Italy and uh, Epirus here uh, to facilitate wars between the Byzantines and the Sicilians. And, you know, perhaps in the remaster you won't need the land bridge and will be able to uh, have those wars without that land bridge there because, of course, having land bridges is not the most um, desirable thing. Uh, but then, of course, in... Um, uh, in Western Europe, you've got very good uh, division of provinces here. A good number of provinces. I'm pretty happy with chivalry's map in terms of Western Europe and uh, Italy especially. Perhaps Bologna would be a good addition to Italy in a remastered version of the map. I believe um, chivalry has is at the max number of provinces here. So in the remaster, you'll be able to add a lot more uh, regions and provinces. Not yet in the current update. It had, the limit has not been increased. However, um, it will be increased. And uh, yeah, I feel like especially the step here, we'll be able to add um, maybe another Allen city in the north here. Uh, perhaps an Avar settlement, um, perhaps another settlement in the Caucasus here. You could have, um, uh, you could have Khachen as a good city to have, Nakhchevan as a good city to add uh, as well. Ganzak would be another good option here. Um, yeah, so I suppose, and of course, expanding the map to the east here, you could have a, a new faction perhaps over there, or at least more territories for the Grand Seljuks so that they could be a little more dangerous, a little more scary, even though they'll be kind of like the Seleucids of the east. It's so really tough to keep that empire together, but kind of scary for neighboring smaller factions. Um, and for additional provinces, uh, you know, the Levant has done pretty well as well, I have to say. Uh, with uh, Tripoli, Aleppo, Edessa, Antioch, Sis, uh, Damascus, Jerusalem, Kerak, Gaza. Like, th they've done a very good job with the Levant here. So, adding a couple of settlements here to the Caucasus, adding Kingdom of Georgia, making the steps a little more interesting. I think the increased region and faction limit is really going to help with that. And adding uh, Serbia... That's going to be really cool, really make the Balkans more dynamic, more difficult for the Byzantine player, because, you know, it's kind of easy for the Byzantine player here in um, chivalry. And that's because uh, they don't really, they have a lot of rebel provinces as uh, neighbors, and so there's a lot of room for them to expand without uh, fighting another major faction. So in any case, I suppose that's all I have to say about uh, medieval uh, mod for Re Rome Remastered, uh, Chivalry Total War Remastered. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. So if you like videos like this, um, topics, uh, videos about the historical Total Wars and their mods, leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.